I'm uh, David Copeland. I'm the professor and chair in anthropology here at Witz University in the middle of Joburg. Mina Nikambule in Umbe Numsilankata was a Lankata by Fara Pansma Nancy. King Wanawamu Kisibasamu Kisailamu. My name is Karen Parkin. Um, my closer name is Zola. My name is Andrew. I'm from California, U.S., and I'm here to spend some time with some folks. Yeah, it uh, did not begin as a religious uh, investigation. It began uh, as a study of the borders of Lesotho and South Africa and the Free State. I was interested in the border communities and the way in which people were uh, using their identity in the new democratic period of South Africa, whereby you will find Basotho people on both sides of the border, and I was interested in that area which at one time did belong to Lesotho and was taken by the Free State, the old Free State government in the wars. And the Mao Tse Shrine is very close to the border and in the northern area, which was the last part of the border in the old days to be uh, legally uh, demarcated, you see. I just want to see that little bit of South Africa that you know, people don't really have a chance to see. <laughs> Hale <laughs> Mobage, clean swim, that was a young man, nanging or ten years, who yak eleven years, Majite nanging at twelve, Okoko wag Kalele Maluzin, Oguti, Maging, Hande, Engi school win, Bagabang Yeg and Ran. Felabagasina Halehali, the service of Tobaho, who fell. Is an Indian in Tanzania defeat to a little sicky bang at a wall, Kao Sons of Taba to both the Gulf of Papa. For me, what I've seen, it's actually a true melting pot of South Africa. I mean, here I'm living with Zulus, Kosas, uh, Sutus, and they all struggle to like learn each other's languages, and they're struggling to teach me. And I'm, I'm, I'm learning. Linguistics helps with syntax, but it doesn't really help with learning all sorts of, uh, you know, just words and memorizing what goes where. That particular place belongs to more than one owner, but the most of it, as you come in on the road in park and then start going up, belongs to um, a farm conglomerate based in Henneman or something. I heard the old man had died that was the head of the company. It, it's, I don't know, Afrikaans, it's Wide Mountain in Afrikaans. That is Wedberge Koparasi, and they are based mostly around Bethlehem. And uh, I met the uh, overall manager of that company. They have 57 farms uh, in the Free State, of which that is one. And the Mao Tse part is only part of the farm, which is called the Wondrous Stones there, you know. <laughs> You know, now the farmer is charging this admission. I don't think they should be charging admission. 
because the ancestors are paying rent to the farmer. You know, that's what it means. The ancestors are paying rent to the farmer. Mm. And people say, what is this money for? Pay ten rand to the farmer. Do I receive, uh, is there a toilet there? Is there um, a car park guard who's employed? You know, is there a what? Anything. You know, is there, is there a place to wash? Is there anything for my ten rand? No. The farmers have provided just the excess, but there has been, that money has not been spent on anything to make the place nicer or beautiful, or, you know, have a garden, you know, where you could grow some things there uh, for the people. No, there's nothing. You don't encounter places like this much, so. It's the one place I found that doesn't have a Steers or McDonald's. Kale mona mo re min tim mo, ke ana mo ga pelwa ntim mo. Mona mo re min tim mo, ke ana mo ntswa ni khantso tim mo. Mona mo re min tim mo, ke ana mo hlagelwa ntim mo. Di tshiso ntse na ka go felelwa ka le bona matlapana a mangale matsho ka lo jwana. Ba sa ba dipudi ba sa ba di khomola tla di newa tsa bo. Yonke into e se yona, ngantsi go mthunzwe lang. Si phiwe si se se zalweni za bo mama. Ungulunkulu wazi na matlusu kuti lo mtu analo ape kula kwa nafunege nzi lugu na lugu na lugu. Kwa le kankane maani, kimu raba gabi maani, kia na wuntate munu. Kutuwa munu, sote ka ufele di khantwa di yinswe muna, di wa shodun kuwa katlaska maani, di katlaska maani, kia na kawabu nkho. Di si di ba si tinga na katlaska maani. Kina le 23 years ka ufele ki kini kahare, kuseba kasina, kile le tswa la mufu ri istata. Hale handle handle ka mona ka se dibeng ka mona mathata a male a mang o tla ngwe ka ona le di sikitse o tlileng ka tsona ntse nya nnete fela ha o khile metsi ka mona dibeng sene o tsa maka ona tata me wa sebitse jwalo ka wa khile mo metsi ana sebitsa na le so wa sho santse ka odi nnete mfela ke bona se se ha uwe ke na se ne se sa ha uwe ka mo khaso na sona ka bosu e ne le se dibase ne se tswela mo bo jwalo ka mona bona thupene ntse metsi ana a kopotsa ka mona ka mo aleng ka teng ke tulo ya mohlolo yena e bile o bona nthotsa mohlolo impidisi tse ntate ka dilemo lemo tse ntse sa le go tlo ha e sa le ditala go kena ka go tulina le bana ba ka re phela mo tulong ye go holela mo khokhona bo khokhona di fo manike bo makhulu khulu fo manike o mzile ka tswa ka machobane ko le ba makobong ไอ้ตะเลเจลเบนดูละอัญญาเมลเลสันเบสมุสตะบาวะเพนดูกาฟอร์มานิเกสฮะกูฮูปลานินนิงปาเลลากาอิซาลากาบอนากามาซอกิ
Traditionally, the white farmers don't want black people walking around on their land, no matter who you are, unless you are their own farm worker. You are out of place. You should be in the location. Not to mention that many of the people who go up there, the pilgrims, do come from locations. They were very worried that a whole village is going to grow up there, you know. And there will be uh, even criminals and Tzotzis who make it a base and come and rob farms. and It will be a slum. It will be a, a squatter camp, you see. Mao will be a squatter camp. Nkomo mfu buzi nkuku singena nge keiti keiti wani. Basbo nunguti izi tozibu ya temu. Sibabu nisena marisit. Manja mabela atlege lwa la pipla zinbe chonche lwa ngabandu. Batatu kuti izi uyo yabo. Itatu wa ngabandu abapagatu wenda. And that they are stealing stock. They are stealing sheep and uh, you know that was Lodi Gordon's big argument with Monica at first because they stole some of his sheep, so he said to her, What good are your prayers and your spells when they can steal my sheep? <laughs> so she then realized that she had to communicate with him on a different basis, so they, they had made a, made a peace. <laughs> Nendawo indawo enkulu e university enkulu for the ubungoma nobu profite and ngapezulu ipinde futi ibe si special eskulu ngoba abantu abaningi banogu kula e gutolagale uguti e izozi liabachela uguti baba bonise ugutai uguze upile hamba uyenda unetile Mshambege, baba kombe, amanzi, amanzi, ne mitombo, ne mitombo. It's a university of traditional divination. The trouble with people like myself is we are seen as unbelievers. Because, you know, the university is a hotbed of disbelief. We are the skeptics and uh, we have just come to examine you. I've come here to San Goma Valley. Uh, because uh, my ancestors have called me to come here. And initially I thought I was just coming here to pray. I w wasn't too sure what exactly I was going to do here. Uh, I just knew I would be here for about a year. Uh, I did suspect that I would be doing Sangoma training, which is, we call it Twasa. I'm learning a little bit about the herbs they use. Um, and I'm being treated as well. I'm doing a, a purifying ceremony sort of thing. I've taken an interest in healing throughout my life. Okay. Uh, in fact, I'm, I'm busy doing a BSc in herbalism through the School of Natural Health Sciences, uh, affiliated to Trinity Varsity in the UK. I think myself as an African American, it's always in search for an identity that was lost along the way. 
my main reason for being here is it's my first time in Africa and I'm paying homage to the religion and sort of practices that would have belonged to my ancestors. <laughs> Ubukrestu abugazi buka thanga nengole yesintu. Ukona apo singa atoli kona. Gashe. The advanced sangomas and the trainers in traditional uh, healing. Many of them are Christian believers. They've been going to church their whole life. But then the ancestors called them. You know, you become ill, this and that happens. You are sent to the mountain by the ancestors until they, you know, oh popa, you are arrested by the ancestors. And then you can't leave until you are finished. That doesn't make them uh, no more Christian. They are still Christian. Age kumbani ongazi ilozi la manzi lomdao ngapande kumundu owa kuchwa kabokoko bemtodela intaba na manza kwenye njenga mje. Na kenga kwa mopofita fela ya buang le badimu hoban hagi ribata din toga shoho din tata falla di siki zamoto kibua le bona bonchon njebu mbona ntandu tandaza yonki nto yam ngienza pansu kum tandaz nukwa sisa nkala fune nkale ntandaz nmeme zungulu ngulu nizitunyo ukuthi zincedise ziphathe lomuthi idlozi lomuntu liphume people did notice that there was more than one christian church there were catholics and then there were the different methodist and the free church uh, there were calvinists and there was this and there was that london mission society and so on and Many of these missionary teachers from the different ones did not like one another at all and would tell their people, this other Christianity which has come in from these people is bad, you see. So they began to think, is it the same in your home country that the Christian teachers all hate one another so much as you people do out here? And the whole thing of different denominations or churches on the path to salvation with uh, Christ it impressed them, you know, that, well, we could maybe have our own African one. I was born in Catholic, in Azale, Roma, in Azenghamba, in Abai Sister, a village in St. Thomas. In Tenasen, St. Thomas, Yatu Tai St. Thomas, Yaya Alexander, Kukuye Gagwam, Batige, Bazong, Tumelil Sut, Mina, and Sabail Sut, and Absaya Sut, and Gedanga Sabens. And take us sevens in Guam Lolong Sevenzella, Nisia Gason Twin, La Lolo Hosel Kulumilenam, Lang Chelang and Abba, Zasemaus. I mean, Jesus was a Jew, he was not a Christian in his lifetime. So they began to think, well, you know, uh, since we are not allowed to climb the ladder because of the color bar in the churches, maybe you know, we could have our own one. And inevitably, over time, coming to the liberation of our region, our Southern African region from colonialism, African beliefs start to make a comeback because the colonial and mission Christianity and the White Fathers, that thing is no longer weighing on you. And a black person can be a bishop and a black person can be ordained. And inevitably, with uh, African pride, you know, making a comeback, African beliefs of a local kind begin to filter in. I have a green robe. Now they asked me about carrying on to the white one, but I have not been able to take time and be there.
Uda lumnu ilozu ko na ba blue abani ya ba peshi abani ese mbamba tese ni zamato ese thaza ni zamshop ukwa pagam seli ilozu labo ngoba benga bantu ba bonuguti awa bantu ba piwe mare yonki into noma utu kota nabo uba tolu guti bada mand upiwa ilozu mnuguti mshambe mabe u begi sanda. With some of the beliefs that are becoming less and less a part of our uh, religion and practices, you see here how Christianity is practiced, but it's sort of a thin veneer above ancient, ancient practices and cultures. I believe that um, you know our churches, our African American churches in the United States. That veneer has gotten so thick that we've kind of lost touch with a lot of things, and I'm hoping to regain something. I don't ignore. I don't ignore uh, my spirit guides or my ancestors. At Mao Tse, all beliefs are welcome. Even uh, white people can go there. If they want to feel they can find their ancestors there, they are welcome to go there. Rastafarians are there. Uh, all sorts of churches are there. And then the Sangomas, the, the Ngaka, the prophets are also there. So uh, it runs from the ancient African uh, spiritual life right through to Bob Mali. Africa must be free, must be free. Africa Bafuna Lok Bafunu Benenkuku, Umzuab, O Kitchimin Cook, O Kitchimin Boos, and then Gulinia Ling. A good sale no money could tell on combat. Gunga Pelabo two weeks, which are Labunga Nogekai. Was good till Susigel Corner. I People at Mao Tse don't care so much about which denomination or which apostolic and which Pentecostal and the other you're actually belonging to. <laughs> I, I personally haven't had any problems uh, with, with people of other cultures or, or races here um, and, and almost all places I've been and purely because I'm open to, to meeting another human being. Uh, it doesn't mean if uh, we, we come from different backgrounds uh, that the one is lesser or greater than the other or we have something to fear from each other. Umuntu kjeli kutubu kristian, nobungo, abu shangani, umjeli bangi mpigisa tu, kuchombe na makambuli, dabanga.
I think that the Africa has rediscovered itself up there in the sense that Sesotho is there and uh, Christianity is there. And they are not fighting or despising one another or driving one another out. <laughs> I, uh, I just had this calling to go to a mountain. I didn't know which mountain. So I prepared myself for it uh, mentally. That mountain, the farmers didn't want them. Uh, it's a very harsh place, you know, it's very cold in winter, there's no sun to penetrate down, uh, but it lives on. People go there, no matter what you say, no matter what you do. And uh, that's why I've, I've stopped being afraid for them, you know, because they know what they are doing. When you go to those places, you're going to suffer. You know, you are going to suffer. Apart from the fact that there's no modern amenities, you know, but those caves are a cold place to sleep. And uh, the, to live there is a hardship. It's supposed to be a hardship. The stairway to heaven is full of uh, broken steps where you can fall, break your neck, and you are carrying a rock on your head anyway, which is your unenlightened and miserable nature. <laughs> you are looking to, to clear yourself, you know, be all right with God and man. And you must carry that rock up those slippery steps at Mao Tse. I was told to come in just my clothes that I was wearing. Uh, in fact, uh, I very carefully picked what I would, would help, what I would be wearing because uh, I've been warned that the Orange Free State is very cold and, and this is the middle of winter. <laughs> Netilfuna, Nangabal Funis Tundusal, Funis Tundusal, Bangabal Funa, Yenum Sebenzualo, Funeguins on Sebenzual. From this place, I hope to take back a, a sense of peace and realizing the generosity that I receive here every day. Well, on the one hand, you can learn the traditional medicine and you'll learn about the rituals, uh, which are a combination of, you know, African and Christian uh, belief and ritual and how it's done. I get to see which plant goes with what to, you know, purify your stomach or what goes with what is used for madness, um, you know, just different treatments for different ailments. And this seems like a really good place, you know. It's a whole system of knowledge which is very deep in this country and it will always be there. I don't think it's going to die out. You always hear people saying that the government is interfering too much, which I suppose they are, but because now they want to register all the traditional healers in the country and make them get licensed, join associations, you know, have offices next to the clinics and integrate. They talk about integrating traditional medicine into the Western system. Um, doing the research on these herbs to see what they have in them that is worthwhile and so on. And my colleague down here thinks that this is a serious threat to traditional medicine and it's going to kill it. But my experience at Mao Tse is this thing is very, very hard to kill. 
And I don't think that any law or any government or any association or any what what is going to kill this thing. I believe that um, you know our churches, our African American churches in the United States, that veneer has gotten so thick that we've kind of lost touch with a lot of things, and I'm hoping to regain something. Well, in the previous days, there was a great deal of conflict because the missionaries were always telling them that you must leave behind, you know, Sesotho, Isisulu, and so on. This is a superstition, and you must come to uh, Christ and the mission church. Okay, so your job as a Christian is to drive out these evils which was actually the previous culture of the people, right, entirely. All of their dancing and their rituals were forbidden, right, as the work of the devil. A lot of stuff we've been enculturated with about Africa, about our homeland, is just part of that, you know, colonization fantasy, in a sense. We can come here and learn that. <laughs> I knew all along that I was making the right decision. I just didn't know what I was coming to. These people amongst the rocks and the plants and trees are the most civilized people I've ever met. I mean, they won't let me go five minutes without washing or it, just that simple. And that's the main thing I think we can learn back home is, you know, we are not the next big thing. We can come here and learn from people still and that we still have things we need to learn. They don't have a government. If something's going on, the older ones come and sit in a council, a, you know, a chotla or a pizza of the older ones, and they work it out. Uh, as to what can be uh, the most uh, peaceful thing because they know the outside world is against them so the solution always has to be to make sure we are not bothered. My heart of hearts is maybe other people can have the same experience I have like when they travel to maybe not just go for to look for their home in another place but also learn that each place they visit it's more than just the animals in an old building, but there's actual people and cultures that they could be getting in tune with. I mean, you can go for a drink anywhere, but you know, when can you learn the secrets of herbs? It's, I just hope more people have the opportunity and more people can open their minds to that. So that people like me and the rest of my new family here um, could come and experience this and grow, because this is a place for growth. This is not a place to go back into history or go forward into the future. This is a place where we can just be here now and grow and learn about who we are. Uh, that place is very dangerous for the unsuspecting and the naive. Uh, you can be arrested in your mind as well as in your body. You can find yourself com with all your powers completely gone. I mean, your powers of decision and will, your will is gone and you are like a zombie with them. You are just a shell. My hope uh, is that I will always walk in this light. Uh, that I, I can live each day to its fullest and get the most I can out of it.
Sonke skati amasigo Iga kuluga zinilus Angboni ne yotwa into Minuga tuwa lapo Ipelelo skati Yonki into iza shali njalo Umuntu no muntu yo shali njalo Ubu puwelo tlozi lako Uyazuyo lala Uba lenda o nje bifo nyiwe inje Uba guya nge skati sayi Uba seku pelelo nga mandi Ngaba kseku wa bandu Aba itwa sayi Kutuwa mbutati tlozi lako Mawisi Hampo kwe nsuguti Hampo ngeni manzi natili, hampo kamanzi mtu njini, utizini, upuze, uza upili. I'd like to see this place staying exactly the way it is, so that people like me and the rest of my new family here uh, could come and experience this and grow, because this is a place for growth, because that's what life's about, isn't it? It's about learning who you are, because uh, we forget as we grow up. When you go there, like in all spiritual places, and you go, you walk up higher, higher. You see the valley. You remember that the kings of olden days, because it is in the area of Mishweshwe's original, his original birthplace is not that far from Mount Zay. It's just the other side, near Buta Bute. So it's, you know, there's Fixburg, there's Fixburg, Buta Bute. It's, it's, it's not 100 miles away. It's a certain, and so there are all these legends, you know, that... Mashweshe would have been herding in the area or some sort of thing. But you go up higher and you feel enlightened and refreshed, refreshed and your burden, you know, flows out of you. And you feel you've connected with something which you cannot do in Johannesburg, you see. Not even in a house of prayer. So then you come down and you say, ah, well, I have gained something, I've added something. But if you add too much, there'll be nothing left of yourself inside. <laughs> It'll be filled up by this, uh, whatever it is. Mkare, mosebe tuwaga, ko petile. Obane, kineke tsamaya, kito sebele tswa. Kibon khono, kinete, ban sebele dite. Obona hite, moneng, kikalite. Le moki kete zinde ndati waka. Ae hubo na hezi ka nete ki boni le nawe. Hona le sese ingo na senzo ezi mole mo. Di petuwa tole jiri boli. Hobali ki fitile jibo la chikula. Le kisa hobali busiu. Ibile le kise mo gana mo kwa kane kile mo tenya ufitabula. Gante ki tleti beiti. Eba le le holo joale. La le kile hae. Le kisa holo ongadula mo hubata ka mo hubata njibo. it it should be uh, proclaimed uh, a religious site, okay, which cannot be disturbed. And if the farmer has to get something, okay. No development, no tourist what what to sustain what, just leave it. Undeveloped. We have a problem, the government thinks everything has to be developed. There are some things which don't need development. And that includes anything that belongs to the ancestors. Hoja Iba, and Rekafmana Mat, our Runaka Runa, 
But I think that the people, I have faith in them, they can prevent the destruction of the place by calling the ancestors to their army <laughs> to protect them. Because, as you know, Monica said, I'm here. You only have to kill me to get me out of here. Makos. Hey, Bobo! Hey, yo! Hey, 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 hey! Hey, yo! Hey, Makos.